And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vi Diana. It's going to be our last deck today. This is another donation deck. This is a viewer submitted list where we're going to be playing a lot of Nightfall cards and Diana with Nightfall and trying to uh, win the games with Cygnus the Moonstalker. It's kind of what our deck's built around the Nightfall give me and an ally elusive this round. All right, so we want to have both it and another ally have elusive. So that means we need to have some large um, allies. So that's why we're playing Vi. So Vi can not only control the board early, but then it can also be just a huge um, attacker, huge threat that we can give uh, elusive with the Cygnus and strike the enemy Nexus for a ton of damage. So that's that's kind of what we have here. We also have Zenith Blade that goes along with that. Zenith Blade and uh, Cygnus also work really well with Diana. If we have, if we can cast a bunch of Nightfall cards, get a leveled up Diana, then Diana can start growing this this power each Nightfall card we play. So maybe we play two or three and make this seven or nine attack, you know, before our Cygnus, and that can be just a ton of damage as well. So that's kind of what our deck is built around, and then we're just playing our Nightfall cards. Uh, besides that, our Lunari Dustbringer to help out the Nightfall cards and everything like that. So we'll see how this deck does. Uh, this is pretty similar to the Gem Assembler deck that we played yesterday with Assembly Bot and Vi, uh, but this one is playing Diana instead of going with the Puff Caps, and we're going to be going more Nightfall cards instead of Puff Caps and Assembly Bot. So we'll see how it does. Yeah, this is that's a good call. This is going to be a, a good decision deck. Like we're going to have to make the correct decisions for sure with this deck. This will be a, a tricky one to play, which is what Nightfall decks usually are. They're not they're not just um, you know play your cards immediately right on curve all the time. You know you gotta you gotta be thinking it out and planning out when and how to play your Nightfall cards. All right, playing against Bilgewater, Noxus, Twisted Fate Swain. This deck's real good. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to mulligan one Crescent Guardian. I definitely could see mulliganing one Crescent Guardian, but I'm just gonna keep them both. We were peaceful once. I'm not planning on like even if they would play like make it rain, you like I wouldn't be saving that thing with I'm gonna be saving the Phil Cascades for the Crescent Guardians. More worried about them. They forced us to choose death or the blade. That's pretty good. It's basically they basically just played House Spider. Um, but then upgraded one of the one ones to the two one. They also got this extra card in hand. We will resist. And plus, if they nab anything else, it costs less. So basically, better house spider. Yuck. Peaceful. Right, a couple of good turns for them so far. Speak, I say. That being two damage, I couldn't save it from Pale Cascade. Yeah. You leave me no recourse. It's awesome. We will be free. Stow the rations! Shackle the prisoners! Dark 
darkness hides in my path. Um. Yeah, so Reginald, Six do you want oh uh, for climbing di oh like diamond? Okay, I was thinking you were talking about maybe Diana at first, but for climbing in a diamond. Um I don't know, like let's see. I guess what I'd I'd recommend you uh I would check out the, the stats page there on Mobilitics. If you want to see some of the decks that are doing doing the absolute best, that's you know how you said you like the the Draven Jinx aggro, uh, probably the the Bilgewater Noxus aggro that could be right there for you, or maybe the Noxus Shadow Isles. You can kind of see like what cards you have in your collection, or you know like one of those would be good. Like those those are both very very fast decks to play, so good to rank up with um, because of that. So. Uh, yeah, maybe check out some of those. I want to block the black marker merchant. Get that out of here. I'll just feel so bad if they have parlay if I pass and they just for some reason have parlay without me playing that gem first. I wouldn't be necessarily expecting a parlay, but I'd feel really bad if they had it. Dusk approaches. Find your path in the dark and follow. So Mentor, playing Mentor the Stones doesn't allow me to keep Pale Cascade available. Get bloody, get paid. So I basically have to choose between those two. Looking into the future, I see purple. <laughs> yeah, it, it is, Reginald. Yeah, like it's, it's like you know, it's the best region. Region combination: is the Bilgewater, uh, Noxus. No more lies. I will be heard. I'm not doing too bad right now, especially having this progress day they'll be able to refill. Not this turn, but another turn. Not doing too bad. Water is mine and mine alone. It's leveled up. I don't like that leveled up. Things in cycles. Someday we will be one. Alright, so we're gonna keep that from doing its thing. I'll show him pain. I'll take that trade. Cowards. Sounds like a good trade with me. I'm guessing if I pass, they pass. Yeah, they just passed. Could be like Riptide Rex with their hope you yeah, need to find that, that warning shot. That could be a thing. Uh, myself, I like Twisted Fate more with Gangplank than Misfortune.
I'm not going to be blocking the Yodel Grifter. Alright, so we got Bastion for Spell Shield. Should be over. But I guess... Yeah, I guess Riptide Rex could do anything, couldn't it? Alright, doesn't do enough. There we go, GG's by Diana 1 and 0. Oh. We speak and they will hear us. Because we hit our sub goal today, so we're gonna be having some bonus games. We'll be playing. Alright, we got Callista. Keep these. Yeah, basically I'm just gonna I'm not I won't usually I play the four decks every single day for the stream. And we're gonna just play three to five more games um after this. Usually I play uh five games with four different decks every day. And then I go to like start doing my start editing the, the decks and stuff for YouTube. Put them up there, but we're gonna play some more. I kind of like having Adventure of the Stones and then Pale Cascade next turn. Gems are superb. Bad I like Lee Sin Tarek. I, that's kind of my favorite version of Lee Sin. Um, yeah, so I, I I enjoy playing Lee Sin Tarek. I think those are, are good together. I like the support aspect of Tarek and, and how it can win games also, and you're not just relying on Lee Sin. I haven't been too impressed with the only Lee Sin as the only champion deck. Really, had, That deck hasn't really looked that good, in my opinion. Uh, just playing against it, that is. Alright, so we'll attack. <clears throat> I'm expecting Hapless Aristocrat to block right there. I guess it does. And so we can keep our Mentor of the Stones alive with a Pale Cascade. So we can maybe get another permanent buff on something else. I shall be very useful against the Undying. And I believe my opponent is playing a the Undying deck. I shall be very useful against that card. I kind of feel bad. Okay. Let's see, I kind of feel bad using the Undying against Hush. Or, or using Hush against the Undying. <laughs> Whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Alright, block here, block here. Take some damage. Man overboard! Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Whee! Yeah, this may not be that deck. No more hiding. I want to play Pale Cascade and draw a card off of Pale Cascade. Which means I'm just doing that healing thing first. Alright, we'll take that. That means not that's not three damage on the Mentor of the Stones. So it won't be a 3-1, it'll be a 3-3. That's technically two damage. We, we shall not rest until all the traitors uh, Yeah, gotta play something. Too many cards in hand. Sure is. 
is dark, eh? Think I've ever attacked with so many. I, I've, I don't think I've attacked with so many Mentor the Stones before. That thing costs one mana. Pretty good. Double Oblivious Islander this card. Well then, this was a nice surprise. A whole lot of damage in your face turn. You cannot hold us down. There's the one-two punch. Down to one. Not very much life. Not very much life. We, we shall uh. Could do seventeen damage to them. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. Oh, hello there. Wish I had one more mana for the Cygnus. Just have to keep. Have to keep three mana up for Hush on this thing. Case of glimpse beyond. To save the so they're gonna die next turn. I guess I could have gone for. I mean, I could have gone for the win by just gemming up the. If I would have just kept gemming up the Vi. Um, and then gone with Cygnus. Yeah, they they would have just killed me with, with Doom Beast, I think. I don't know, I guess they could I guess they couldn't kill me with Doom Beast. So let's see, how much mana did I have this turn? So I had three, four, five, six, seven. So I had seven mana. Yeah, I think I could have killed them. Especially if I would have played No, I don't know, three gems? Yeah. Yeah, I think I could have killed them. Anyway, uh, GG's. You gotta be kidding me! All right, back to Bilgewater Noxus. Awkward hand of everything needing Nightfall. They're not bad cards, so it's just kind of awkward. Okay, Mystic Shot, that's good. So turn three, we can go Mystic Shot, and then I guess we, to, to triple spell on turn three, we'd only be able to play one unit, so we'd have like Mystic Shot and Pel Diana and Pell Cascade. So it looks 
like we're not doing anything turn one or two. So that's bad to see. So bad to see. Alright, we're playing 2-3 as a blocker against the 2-1. I have my orders. Everything's in place. Hide no longer. Damn it! I could honestly see challenging the Fearsome being better than challenging the Petty Officer because I can't block that Fearsome where I can block Petty Officer. Face your heretic. So I think it's better to challenge the Fearsome. Who's that you got there? All right, not bad. Sisters. Weathered the storm of the first three turns pretty well of one drop, double one drop, petty officer. Double pay for the next kill! Meet destiny! Gems are superb! Bad for the teeth, though. Alright, good turn for us. Let's go, Vi. Let's go, Vi. This was big that we had the attack tokens turn 1, 3, 5. If they had the attack tokens turn 1, 3, 5, this game would be pretty different, I think. Doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to win. You know, this game's not over. It's also nice that I get to... Wow, that survives and everything. That's really nice. They play that gangplank before attacking, so I got to not even have this die or anything. Oh, that was a great turn. I don't mind just playing Crescent Guardian as a 3-3 instead of a 5-3, so I may just lead off with Crescent Guardian if I just want the 3-3 in play to be able to block the 2-1 Fearsome. Just to have another thing that can block that. I'm gonna do that. Let him bleed out. He started without me. Levitation requires concentration. Not able to turn on the Nightfall with the Cygnus. Um, I could honestly see invoking being better than getting the 5 3. Kind of want to invoke. Yeah, I'm going to invoke. Okay, not a good invoke. Not a good invoke. Which one of these would I want later? I mean, I guess Trickster? Definitely wish I would have played the Crescent Guardian if I knew those were going to be the options. Would have done that. Who's angry for action, eh? Change is coming. If they didn't play the jack, I was gonna I was gonna do the same attack, challenging the demolitionist to not like give them that free block, which would have found something a little bit better. <clears throat> I 
to stay at a nice, healthy life total with no jack and not them getting the free two damage every turn. Fortune favors the bolt. Was that a mirror of starlight I saw? Is our way. Can I survive at five damage? This is ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're gonna do in fifteen damage to them next turn. They're at sixteen. It's annoying. You were misguided. We're just going to be at seven and, uh, you know, most likely not going to be able to kill them in one turn anyway. It's probably going to have to just take me two turns, so. We'll just be at seven. Okay. Um. And it's still just gonna take me two turns, right? Here comes the punchline. Have a little bit of removal. Remember the objective. Make the Empire proud. It's not completely likely that they're going to be able to kill me here. It it's not that likely. Routes closed. One card, five damage. I think that we had to get Jack the Winner out of there, so I didn't get to level up my buy, unfortunately. Guiding Touch is a, just an awesome draw. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Yeah, but I'm not good at all. Looking into the future, I see purple. Yeah, I know it's elusive that round only. I know. I'm still gonna play one because we can only, you know, I can only play one during the attack turn. I was thinking of still just playing one anyway, but I'll just throw down this Mentor of the Stones first. Bring it. Love ya. So they are at 11. I do have 11 attack. Even not including the Vi. Um, so I could go straight to combat and challenge and, and have enough attack anyway, but there we go. We'll just do that. I think they could do 6 damage. That uh, Guiding Touch draw was very good to get out of Decimate range. I mean, I guess so, Reginald. That's that's the only time I ever played that deck. We just built, we just put that Centaurus deck together today on stream before we played it. So we just, you know, built it from scratch, played it, it went 5-0. Um, and yeah, it felt good. I don't have like a, a huge amount of like games or experience with it. You know, we just, just started playing it. So it's, 
um, so all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I mean, it felt good. So yeah, if you think it looks fun, then then yeah, give it a try. We were peaceful once. <laughs> yeah, you like the gem assembler deck? Yeah, I need it. I need to just build more decks, don't I? Always really like the decks I build, like the Swole Cat, that Gem Assembler. No, I, di I didn't build that Gem Assembler, did I? No, I didn't build that. That was a donation deck I didn't build. I did the Swole Cat, we did this one, the Centaurus. We did that Tale of Blood and Honor. I like that one. Alright, anyway. So ramping this turn's my best thing, but the problem with ramping this turn is that then it's like, what do I do next turn? I mean, I guess I could have Zenith Blade next turn. I guess that's, that's what we're going to have, is we'll just play... Lunari Shade Stalker and Zenith Blade the Shade Stalker next turn. Nothing escapes my touch. Get it further out of like Avalanche and that kind of stuff range. No, I don't want to draw Zenith Blade. Don't want to draw naturally draw Zenith Blade. So basically, I don't want to give them this extra card. Like, maybe this extra card on top, giving that... Like, they're going to get this extra card eventually, but I want it to be a lot later. You know, I don't want it to be right away. Pretty ugly. You know, like, maybe they don't have the trundle yet. Yep. Ready the torches. Uh. Light the signal fires. Well, that's too bad. That's probably game. We shall see. I could... Definitely be game right there. Eyes to me. Ah! Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. Okay, so what I'm thinking, the serpent, we can play the serpent next turn and then play Cygnus. So we can we can do both of those. That's not spectacular. Come, a new phase awaits. None of these are spectacular. Daylight fades and dusk sits. As the moon rises, quiet reflection begins. What tidings from the sky? The Diane is not going to have Challenger this turn, even if we play Lunari Priestess and then fail Cascade. That will just level up Diana, but will not have Challenger. Or one nightfall card away. If we had, if this was at three out of four, then we'd be able to challenge her and kill the trundle. Look out below. So I can now I can challenge her and kill trundle with spell cascade zenith blade. Um, is killing Trundle better than killing Weirding Stones? It's gotta be, right? No more lies. I will be heard. They get to Ice Pillar and do all that kind of cool stuff. Night flowers upon my blade. 
the promise of a new moon upon probably gonna have to hush my own uh, Diana keep them from killing it Bow to no one I don't behold a celestial card anymore. I really want to take the supernova. When will this bloody conflict Guess we'll just take the scourge. Cycles, see what happens. Will be one. You tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. So I can either do six to them or kill. I mean, I gotta kill the Sejuani, I think. At least gotta try. I'll just give it here and just kind of see what they see what they do. So maybe they play something that uh, I don't want to try to kill Sejuani anymore. Quite unfortunate. I would have gave it to one of these two ones, we would have dealt two extra damage. These are yeah, good hand. Good hand. I'm gonna make a <laughs> Continues to have good answers for what I got going on. Yeah, Trundle. So good. Here comes the punchline. I could definitely see. I, I I would not be surprised if Trundle is nerfed this upcoming week. I I'm, I would not be surprised at all. Even Trundle going down to being a 4-5 instead of a 4-6, I could I could see just even that happening. Kind of the same thing with Vi. You know, Vi started w with 5 health with Tough, and it was just way too hard to kill Vi, and so then Vi went down to 4 health with Tough. I could kind of see that, that exact same thing happening with Trundle, of Trundle starting at 4-6. Probably doing that 6 health with the regenerate is too difficult to deal with. To take down Trundles and uh, all that kind of stuff, you know, Trundle and... Uh, Sejuani. Yeah, I agree. The multiple effects is good. Yeah, challenge plus tough. Regen and overwhelm. Frostbite, overwhelm. Yeah. Nola Gold. My boy Jody Keith. He's another great streamer. Friend of mine from New Orleans. He's usually playing more tournaments and stuff than I am. Uh, but good dude. So Shen Fiora. No more hiding. We'll just get our four damage in. Should likely be a few our turn. Yep. And I'm going to be invoking. Seeing what we got. I'm the warrior. I never hold on. Try me. Yeah, I think people in Texas consider Texas the South. Try me. That's the consen general consensus. 
scent travels on the night air. Mother moon wings. I am one with the land. We swim within the flows of magic. River Shaper. River Shaper is cool. This will be quick. Expecting repost. It's our time. So I don't really want I don't really want to either of these like repost on either of these to, and then kill a warrior. If there's gonna be repost, I'd rather it be you know like I don't want to challenge the river shaper, then river shaper gets a repost and gets a free strike. Um Green Glade Caretaker, kind of the same thing, but it could be, could go Caretaker, but, um, you know, basically if they want to go repose here and kill my warrior, mm -hmm. then they got to take this damage. Or if they want to, like, repost River Shaper, then we get a kill here. What form will the waters take? Okay. I will absolutely trade... My 2 1 for a concerted strike. All of the time. Mystic Shot's a perfect draw. Be able to take down a barrier. Um, no, yeah, te Texas is just part of the South. I'm not sure. I'm not sure really what Jay's referring to. My strength is yours! Their pride will cost them. I will be free. This is unfortunate. Right over your head. A gift from the river folk. Here comes the punchline. Turn on this nightfall over here. Protect their own by the moon's crescent blade. Night descends. Face your heretic. So Stand United can kill Vi. Stand United's the nightmare. The card's always just so good. If it's just one barrier, we're okay with the Mystic Shot. It's definitely gonna be one barrier, right, with the crescent, you know, with this block here. Nature blesses her followers. Definitely wish I had one more mana for single combat for protection. Yeah, I don't. It's too bad. What form will the waters take? Enforcer down. I guess that's the same like how Stand United is the nightmare. That's the, the same thing of two, the two cards. Same thing still gets through. Uh, and kills by. of a new moon upon you, Bloom Tender. The balance requires a watchful eye. 
I guess that was bad playing that because I don't have the mana for Bastion now. Yeah, that was that was bad playing this Lunari Dustbringer. I was thinking of like how Jody wasn't playing another blocker, I could maybe get another attacker in, but that wasn't. I should just keep the mana for Bastion available. Night descends. I've seen a couple of concert you know single combats concerted strikes already. Hopefully not another one. I should have just played my Cygnus first and then see see what was going on. Yeah, it was a bad play. If I don't block, it could easily be lethal. Green Glade Caretaker getting popped up, because that's eight, so they need to do additional seven damage, like Repost is five, and then another barrier. Um, you won't stop us. Come, a new phase awaits. My father's blade. Freedom. So our Bastion did something. Would have been a good time to have... Oh gosh. So many. <laughs> so many fight spells. It would definitely been a good time to have our one draw three. Enter the stones. Speak, I say! Your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, moon sister. Go, floating crystals. Face your heritage. If he's got more barrier cards, I'm gonna be losing. I gotta kill the Shen. Gotta get this thing out of here. Dang. Alright, two and three. Enforced equilibrium. Yeah, that was every concerted strike and at least two single combats, maybe all three also. This, you know, we definitely needed more. Definitely needed more card advantage than what we had. To keep up. GG. So our deck was all right. Um, you know, we were able to get some wins. That uh, the deny on the having the deny for that Zenith Blade that turn may have saved them the game of we may have been able to win with the Cygnus. Um, I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not really sold on Cygnus too much. Not sold that it's better. Uh, it's just, it's really slow and clunky and difficult to kind of turn on. I'm not sure if it's better than just Sunbork's map. This duck felt like it needed some more, needed some more late game. That's what it really felt like. I, I think that, I think that our deck could have, um, could have benefited from, like, uh, two of the, like, two star shapings. 
think this deck could have benefited from from two star shapings. Uh, honestly, I just don't. I don't think. That, basically, I would. I think I would take out Mentor the Stones. I just don't think that's probably the card that I'd take out. Probably just don't need Mentor the Stones in this kind of deck. Maybe play like two star shapings and like one sunburst instead. Um, sunburst would have been awesome to have a lot of those times. Yeah, I think that's what we'd do. Just take out those Mentor the Stones. The gems just don't aren't really that important in this deck. They're okay. Best thing they can do is turn on Nightfall for the most part, but um, they just didn't really seem that necessary. That could maybe give us a little bit more Invoke to go along with the Priestess. Um, but as far as this kind of deck goes, yeah, I think I think I liked the, the the version that we played yesterday with the Gem Assembler a little more, and that's okay. I think I like that one a little better. All right, but that's Vi Diana. Um, these Targon cards, these Nightfall Invoke, they're all um, pretty fun to play. You get lots of decisions, and I like I like both these champions. They're kind of similar champions, actually. How. Diana can be a very large challenger, large as as in like attack, attack wise. Sorry, and so so can Vi. Vi can be very large attack wise, as well. They're pretty similar. Diana is basically the two mana Vi. So pretty cool deck. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course feel free to leave those comments as well. Got any comments about the deck, uh, or anything else? I really really appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.